Hello everyone, it's daytime. You can call me Buster and welcome to Incredimarble. So, Incredimarble, you may or may not have ever heard of this game before. Uh, this is a little indie game that I kind of stumbled upon by pure chance. And uh, this is a 2D marble run game. And this is the Steam version. However, there's also a version on mobile, both iOS and Android. And uh, the differences here, well, let me start from the beginning, okay? That might be useful. So this is a marble run game where you can build your own marble run on this 2D grid. And there's all these different pieces that you can build. But you'll notice some of these cost quite a lot. There's like exponents on these prices at some point. And that's because this, while it is a marble run, it has the trappings of an idle game, which even if you don't really like idle games, hear me out. This one does it really well, in my humble opinion. Obviously that doesn't mean much, you know. If you like idle games, you'll like this. So the idea is, uh, you know what, let's ignore these for now. You want to place a spawner, there we go, that's a marble spawner, and it'll spawn some marbles. Now, these are just falling into the void right now, as soon as it hits these, a few seconds after it'll disappear. So, let's go ahead and zoom in and place our first slide. So let's place that, attach it, marble will go through, and pop, da da da, four dollars. Yes siree! We're going to get $4 every time this goes through a slide. Let's pop down another one. And we'll get another $4 every time. So that's basically how it works. You place spawners that uh, put marbles into your marble run. And every slide they go through, you make a little bit of money. Now, there's another menu over here. You can see here, this makes $4. You can level up your slides. So I have $123 to level that up. I've got plenty. It's up here. Let's go ahead and level that up. Bam. Now suddenly, $16 every time it goes up. Or er, goes through the slide. And you can keep doing that. And each one of these, check this out. We unlocked it, the ability to build this longer piece down here. This one costs 234. Let's place that down and connect it. That one is worth $8. Now, that's not worth as much as this one, but it takes $2,345 to level up. And when it does level up, uh, well, you'll just see what happens. Now, what do we want to do? We don't want these marbles to go into the void, do we? Well, that's where the ending piece comes in. Let's click this right here. And you can see on the right, rewards based on total slides used per marble. So let's put this at the end. And bam, $48 because they went through all these and they got to the finish. So that's the basic gist of this game. You can just leave this running and it'll keep spawning and they'll go automatically. And you continue to add new pieces to your marble run. As you see, we unlocked this piece. Let's go ahead and add that down here. Now 125. This one's worth 54 per marble. And it pretty quickly spirals out of control in the best way possible. And as you make more money, you can buy up to five extra spawners. And there are also some pieces that are just for fun. Uh, I'm not sure where they are at the moment. Maybe I don't have them unlocked yet. I think... I think that's the case. I thought you started with them unlocked. Maybe not. But we'll get to those later. Usually there's a button right here that has some extra pieces that don't make any money, but they let you do some extra fun little things. Now, you'll also notice here, I have an average money made per second. Once we get to a certain amount, we'll be able to record our best average to earn some little jacks here. And uh, we'll get to those when we get to those. Um, for now, we can also recolor our pieces, but let's, let's uh, do our basics first, okay? So you may be wondering, what is this golden piece right here? 
This is a bonus piece. So, normally I like to start my marble runs here, but I just wanted to show off the usual thing. So when it goes through, it gets a little golden trim there. And we got kind of lucky. The, there's always two of them when you spawn. And every day, let me click on this, it'll show you. Uh, use both frozen bonus pieces for double goal points. The bonus pieces will move in this amount of time. Every 24 hours in real time, these will randomly move somewhere else. So, every day, you have incentive to come back and redo your marble run. Now, let me see if I can't maybe reach this with the longer pieces. Looks like maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to need to gain a little bit of height here. That's a shame. But we can go ahead and finish with all these pieces. We're getting 123. That's the basic gist of things. Now, we can also turn off snapping to the grid and move things freely. Turn off the grid however we want. There are some settings here. Um, there's a sandbox mode. You can turn on the ability to trap marbles, so if they get stuck, well, if they get stuck as is, they will, how can I show this? I'll place this right here. So this one will get stuck, and as you'll see, kapow, it phases out and falls through the world. You can turn that off if you want. Um, there's a reason you might want to do that, but that's kind of an end game thing, I'd say. Um, you can also disable the bonus pieces, which I personally don't like to do that because they allow you to add a lot of extra value to your marble runs. Also, if you're brand new to the game, read through all of these. I'm going to just cycle through them really quickly, and if you want to go back and pause on any of them to see any of the interesting tidbits, some of these are quite important. So, good to know. Also, this game was created by Dave Cap, and there's also a lot of other credits right here that you guys can see. I think they did a great job on this game. I'm stupidly addicted to this. Anyway, let me go ahead and build some more while I talk about how I actually found this game. So, I was just browsing the Google Play Store on Android, actually, and I wanted, I just felt like I wanted to have a marble run game. By the way, let's level this up. 32 from eight, a lot more than we got for the small one, which by the way, I don't have any built and bam, I might as well build one cause they're free. There we go. And uh, more and more and more and more, oops. They'll automatically connect if you have them highlighted like this. Of course, you can only go so low. This is as low as this can go. But let's see how much money we get. Ooh, 1,000 per marble. Also, before I continue my story of how I found this game, let's click that. We can upgrade this as well and give us up to 10 maximum marbles. I should get to 1,500 soon. There we go. Pow! So I went into the Google Play Store and I just typed in marbles. Now, of course, the first things that popped up was like marbles on stream and some other like sponsored stuff. I scrolled past those because I wanted to be able to just, I, I didn't really know what I wanted. I wanted a marble run, something with marbles like this. And I came across this game and it was free. So I decided, well, why not? I'll give it a try. And uh, here I am. <laughs> I loved it so much that I wanted to make a video on it for you guys to see. I want to share this game because there's actually a lot of fun to be had here. Lots of interesting tips and tricks that you guys can see. Let's level up some of these ones here. In fact, this costs not very much. Ooh, bam. Look at that, 3,700 per marble finishing now. How much does it cost to level this? Let's do that. Level five, and level six. And every time we level these up, you'll notice not only does it make so much more money 
per slide, it will also make so much more money when we finish. So very, very quickly, this spirals out of control in the best way possible, and I absolutely love it. And uh, there are some idle games I've played in the past, like Clicker Heroes, for example, and that one, it's fun. But this one, you get to make a marble run, and I wanted to watch the marble run go anyway, right? But now, not only do I get to watch the marble run go, but I get to, like, make money and have progress in the game while I do it. It's amazing. I love it. By the way, we now have enough money for a second spawner. Let's put that... Oops, I didn't want to do that. No! Quick, put it here. All right, um, let's move this up now. Here's one of the first little tricks you can do. Pow! You can just put them on top of each other. And now we're spawning double the marbles. Now if you spawn too many here, they'll start to glitch out and go up on top of the spawner, which is not great. But there are ways around that later on in the game. Right now we only have access to two spawners and we can only level them up so many times. Using this piece right here. Oh, and look at here. We have unlocked the just for fun pieces. So the just for fun pieces, these don't give you any money when the uh, marbles go through it. But we have this little thing. It's a blocker. It's um, you can place a bunch of these to make like pachinko or you can turn off the snap to place it in an exact area like say your marbles keep getting stuck right here you can put this right there to prevent them from stacking up right there and things like that I don't need that right now of course and there's also these little spinner things you need they have an engine you can turn those on and they will push marbles along automatically for you, which is very nice. And then these ones are large balls that are, I think, like three by three, and they're very bouncy. If the marbles hit it, they'll bounce off real hard, which is super fun. If you're making a marble run that's like a race, you're gonna enjoy that a lot. And there is a sandbox mode, by the way, it's right here. Um, I think this is DLC. This is something you have to pay like three bucks for. There are some microtransactions, especially in the mobile version. Um, the Steam version, you get most of the features out of the box, but it's also uh, paid. So do with that information as you will. If you want to just try the game and you have a mobile phone, that would probably be the best way to do it. Or if you're seeing this and you like what you see i think the full price um steam version it's currently in early access and i don't think it costs that much but i don't remember anyway i want to try this loopy loopy right here in fact i'm going to put it up because this i think loses it goes more left than it does up i mean down it's cool, you do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, what, what happened there? There it is. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can link it up to this. I'm not so sure if I can. Yeah, I don't have the money even if I could, but no. I'm gonna need to get to this piece right here, which is quite a ways away, which is unfortunate, but what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and delete these little tiny pieces because we will get extra value out of placing more expensive pieces. You can see already without leveling it up, it worth, it's worth $171. So let's place these. We can watch all the fun little loopy loopies. I love doing loops in these marble games. Kapow. All right, 8,900. That's pretty darn good. Now we already have to pay 2.9 million for the next one, but we can go ahead and click on this and upgrade it. And look how much more that's gonna be worth. And when they all go through it, now we're worth 10,000, 11,000, 12,000. And uh, let's see, I'm waiting for this one to come back up. We only need to wait a few seconds to make enough money for that. 567, bam. 
All right. Oh, and see, that's one of the ways they can get stuck. Uh, that was my bad there. 16K per marble. Now, as you go on, things are going to cost more and more to buy and also more and more to level up. But as you might expect, um, the more they cost, the more it's going to be worth when the marbles get through them from start to finish. And also the more they're going to level up for. So this is worth 683. Let's level it up. Now it's worth 1500. Very nice. It goes up really quite quickly and it's great. We love it. I love it. Do you guys love it? Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this game so far. Also, you can zoom out really far on the PC version. It's super nice. You can't zoom in and out as far on the mobile version. It's also really slow on PC though, I gotta admit. It's faster on on Android. And it's also on and, uh, iOS if you have an iPhone. So, you don't gotta choose. I assume it's the same on iPhone as it is on Android. I couldn't tell you though, because I haven't uh, played it on iOS. Let's go ahead and place this now. 24, 28,000. Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh, we're up to a million already. Now, let's see. We're not quite up to, I think maybe it's when you hit the first million per second that you start being able to record jacks. And for each jack you have, you actually get a 5% boost to your income. Just flat. That's why it says before jack boost, your average income. So uh, that's another way that you can just scale this madness out of control. But firstly, let's see, 5.6 mil to upgrade. Okay, let's upgrade this. There we go. Now it's worth 2,700 from the 1,500 it was at. That's amazing. 30, 34, about 36,000. So the the marbles, I'm a little bit surprised when I first saw this. For, for an indie game, I didn't expect the marbles to seem to actually remember every single slide they've gone through. But if you like let them go through a couple of these and then you upgrade it and then they go through some of the upgraded ones, they will only give you the extra credit for the ones they actually went through while it was upgraded. The other ones will still be worth less. So let's upgrade that. You see we're at 40,000. These two didn't go through all of them. It's 43, but these ones went through more. And it's 50,000, and that one's 53,000. It's very interesting how the game, like, each marble remembers exactly which ones they've gone through and how much it's worth. That's really cool. It's, it's you know, just the, the attention to detail that I don't really expect. Um, I don't have enough to show this off. That's worth five billion. It's gonna take me a while to get to that point. But let's see, this is worth 42 and that's worth 1.5. Let's actually delete these so I can place these. This won't actually go any lower. So I need to uh, keep height into account. This um, little sink looking piece right here is the first piece that allows us to gain height. And it's worth 78 million. As you can see, we're not quite there yet. But uh, it's going to be very exciting when we do get there. Now then, can this go? No, it can only go one space lower. But we're getting close to the 5.8 million we need for the next loop. So I might go for that next. How? 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 And uh, that quite, just barely can't quite fit. I think this is still better though, because we've leveled this up a lot more. 65,000 per marble. Remember when we started, already it was only worth like $8, $4 per slide and 100 something per marble. We've already worked our way up to this point. It's very fun. And you can go way, way beyond this. So at this point, things have started to slow down a little bit. I've been recording for about 20 minutes now. 
So I think this might be a good time to end off the episode. I'd like you guys to let me know in the comments um, what what are you thinking about this? Is this fun? Do, do you want to watch me make a cool marble run and just make progress in this series? I also really want to make some tips and tricks videos because I've discovered some little things you can do to make life easier in this game and also I want to make a feature request video or like here's some features I'd like to see added to this game that is sort of like open letter to the developer because the the developer is let's see how Dave cap so all of these things are in the credits but it's basically made by this guy okay he also streams um, oh I, I don't need that <laughs> where is it he has a link somewhere twitch integration well there's twitch integration too by the way somewhere here he has a he has a twitch link somewhere I don't know where how to find it it's it's here somewhere there it is uh, twitch.tv slash Dave Cap if you're interested in seeing his development work and whatever he streams there I actually haven't caught him live myself but yeah he basically does this on his own and apparently this game doesn't really make a ton of money which you know it's kind of sensible it's a small indie game it doesn't he doesn't charge for a lot of things most of the microtransactions are like one-time purchase it's like uh, three dollars four dollars type things so there's not a lot of repeatable revenue I guess I don't really know much about game business you know um, but this is not a game as a service if you will this is a true blue like one guy is making this kind of a labor of love thing so if you're interested give this game a whirl and again let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more of this i think i'm going to record one or two more videos of this but for now i'm going to let this run for a bit get up some money and try to work towards this thingamabob right here so that i can lift the marbles up a little bit and get into the second bonus piece because that'll give us even more doubled rewards as you can as you can see here <clears throat> all right well with that thank you guys all ever so much for watching today please remember to leave a like if you do like this video and don't forget to subscribe before you go it is free it is easy and you can change your mind later if you decide you don't like my content but until next time goodbye everyone it's nighttime. time